Hey lads, just making a quick video to say that on Sunday the 19th of March, yes, that is this week, I've given you a short notice because I wasn't sure if I was going or not, but I will be attending the Stonham Barnes Model Railway Show. Um, this is their first show they'll be holding. They've held, whatever the right word is, held ever. And all exhibitors go for free for this one. And this is my first ever show I've exhibited at, so I thought this would be perfect. And my dad can drive to Stonham Barnes because we live near Stonham Barnes, so... Win-win, I guess. I'll be exhibiting my layout of D. Lucy, as you've seen from the second channel, where I've updated about it so many times, to be honest. I haven't really talked about it on this channel, but... If you've watched that channel and seen those videos, then come see the layout in real life. And, uh, well, there's a lot more going on, but it'll be nice to come along and support the show. So, um, yeah. I'll be running engines like Desmond, uh, the Pink Crompton. Uh, oh, who else am I running? Well, there's plenty of other engines from the D. Lucy branch line. So, I hope I'll see you all there. Or at least some of you, if you could make it. I have given short notice. So I don't think someone from, like, Canada, watching this right now, is going to make it in time to go to a niche little uh, barnyard thing. Stonham Barnes, all the way in Norfolk. Why did I say that? It wasn't even Norfolk, gave it in South Eric. Norfolk. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I'm, 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 I'm Joe Biden. <laughs> Shut up! Right. Um, someone wanted to hear about how I made Richard D. Lucy, so I thought I'd squeeze it into this video as well. Um, but yeah, hope to see you all there. Yes. I believe someone in my comments called Luke's Locomotives has asked me how I made uh, Richard D. Lucy here, the tram engine. And I thought, well, there's no point making a Putis Customs episode, so I thought in this short video, I'm just gonna squeeze it in and I'll tell you all how I made it. So Richard here is a Diagostini Toby, as you can see, but been modified to not be Toby, of course. So. The old stubby little funnel's been cut off. So has the dinky little bell. I, I've yet to replace it, but I think at some point I might just get some milliput out and make a little bell and a little string. Put it there. Uh, the funnel's been replaced with a D-class funnel. I believe it must be from this scrap body shell that I'm just painting all over for no reason. Um, this pipe here, I don't know what it does. But I replaced it from this square looking thing, or rectangular even, from uh, a bit of sprue from a pop rivet, because it was just the right thickness I needed. Uh, the buffer beams and buffers and couplings are from a deceased uh, early Backman slash mainline J72 body shell. Um, because that was like the sp only spare buffers I had. At the minute, at the time, when I was building this, like seven years ago, I don't think I even stripped the original paint. This is like layers and layers of paint. It's like an onion, you know. Uh, the cab doohickey has been cut out, so it's not like a blank plate like that. Uh, it's been done in similar to a Great Eastern carriage brown or something, and uh, royal blue side plates with a number plate, which is 152, which isn't a real uh, tram logo number, I think, but it's actually based off of the year, I think, 1152, where Richard D. Lucy had, was the founder of the town of Dis. So that's why I've named this logo Richard D. Lucy, because, well, the layout's called D. Lucy, his surname's D. Lucy, the D. Lucy care home thing is in 
is based in this, blah blah blah, I think you get the idea. Uh, what else have I changed? Well, the couplings, I haven't been able to fit some proper tension locks, so I've just used these bits of wire as like a bar for the hook to hook onto. Uh, I've also used the same wire to make the cow catchers as the originals are just a big solid square lump. It was pretty fiddly, but it was also pretty nice to make. Looks a bit grubby and a bit rough, but maybe one day if I do care enough, I'll probably give them a proper overhaul. Uh, this runs on a Hornby 040 chassis, cut down severely so I can actually fit into the body shell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, it's got some little supports to hold well, to rest over the buffers as, um, well, because the, it doesn't use, it hasn't got like a platform or anything to use these uh, supporting lugs to clip onto. Oh, the handrails are also bits of wire as well. Same gauge, I think. Uh, the cow catches have been extended with a little bit of card down here. If I did this today, I'd probably use plastic card because I've just stopped using card on models because it feels really cheap, but it, it, it comes in plentiful. <laughs> Whatever that meant, <laughs> that didn't make any sense because like you can see here, the originals are like that. And then these ones have been extended because without this, you could still see some of the wheels and it kind of defeats the purpose of the side plates. You could still see the wheels, sort of. Uh, these squares, they're the hatches for like cleaning out the smoke box and the firebox. As I don't think you could get a fire iron or whatever through here without having to actually have somewhere to, for it to extend out. That's why you see on some engines they've got a cab door on the back. To actually stick your shovel to clean up the firebox. Uh, what else have I done? No, I think that's really it, to be honest. Oh, well, other than that that cheaply glued-in weight on the roof for, like, somewhat, some traction, I guess. I, I guess it weighs it down somewhat, but, I mean, I, at the time, I couldn't really think of where else to put a weight uh, suitably. I think it's just best to get a white metal kit, to be honest, because it's already got the weight, and you don't need to stick weight anywhere else, because the whole thing is heavy, and it puts weight onto the chassis. So uh, that's how I made Richard De Lucy, and uh, that's that short bit of video done. Um, thank you all for watching, and I hope I see some of you at Stonham Barnes on Sunday. Yippee!